What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about some unfortunate stuff going on. There are a lot of uh, the the uh, smaller channels maybe that are in the fandom menace uh, things like that and there's there's a lot of bitterness towards me it seems like with a lot of these smaller creators and ultimately what it comes down to is everybody wants me to help them and I can't help everybody. And if you're asking for my help, you're going about this all wrong. Because I can't help you build your channel. I can't help you be successful. I can't help people like you. You have to do that on your own. And if you are relying on me, if you're upset because I haven't given you a shout out or I haven't featured you on Geeks and Gamers, then you're not going to be successful to begin with. It is the worst attitude imaginable. It is this poor me victimization attitude. Now this video is not here to defend myself. This video is to motivate you and make you understand what it's going to take for you to be successful. And blaming me for not giving you a shout out means you're not going to be successful. It's absolutely not going to happen. Now I have tried to help as many channels as I can. I have brought different creators onto the team. But I can't shout out everybody, and I can't bring everybody onto my channel, nor will I. I bring people that I think are going to be good for my team and good for my brand and good to help me build what I'm building. And sometimes that's going to hurt your feelings, and that's fine. That's my job as a leader is to make the difficult decisions that are going to be best for what I am trying to build. And your feelings play no part into that. Simple as that. All right, now understand this. When I had less than a thousand subs, I had already I already had geeks and gamers, and we had a massive Facebook group of 15, 16,000 people. Okay, now at the time I couldn't get people to subscribe to the channel, I couldn't get people to watch my videos, and it was very frustrating to me because I'm like, there's 15,000 people in this Facebook group, and I can't get more than 100 views on my channel. How the hell, what am I doing wrong here? So I would be very bitter. I was very angry because I'm like, why aren't they watching my videos? Why aren't they helping me? I was buying video game systems. I was trying to give, I purchased brand new video game systems and gave them away just to try to get people to watch my channel. And nobody was watching it, generally speaking. And the channel could not break 1,000 subs to save my life. I couldn't figure it out. Eventually, now again, I wasn't running the channel, but I was appearing on the channel. I had other people running the channel, and it was very buttoned up from where it is now. I was very buttoned up as the leader of Geeks and Gamers, and I was trying to create a certain narrative. So at that time, I wasn't this outspoken person that you have come to know here on YouTube. I was very buttoned up, and I didn't take real tough stances on political issues and Hollywood and identity politics or anything like that. I just was trying to stay above the fray as the leader. Well, again, late 2017, early 18 is when I decided I was going to start speaking out and being myself and being unapologetic about my opinions. That is when the channel started taking off. But at no point was I sharing my videos. I didn't share videos to Twitter. I didn't share them to Facebook. And I damn sure didn't share them to our Facebook group. Because the entire community that I had created to that point was going to hate everything I was saying. They were going to hate every single thing I was saying. And a lot of them turned against me and I knew that was going to happen. But they didn't support me when I was doing the buttoned up bullshit. But they sure as hell got angry when I started saying what they didn't want me to say. And I knew that was going to happen. So I never shared my videos. I never asked for a shout out. I never asked for help. I just put my boots to the ground and I figured things out. And I figured out how the algorithm worked to an extent. I will never understand how the algorithm works. But I studied other channels. I studied how they were doing things. And eventually things were starting to catch. Okay, this video worked. Okay, that video didn't work. Okay, they don't like this topic, but they like that topic. But they started liking that I was being engaged with them. They liked my honesty. They liked how brutally honest I was. And how I was willing to say things that a lot of other people weren't willing to say. Now... 
we have gotten to this point where we are now with Geeks and Gamers. And I'm still learning every day. And I still watch other channels every day. And I study the algorithm. And I study what other people are doing. Jeremy from The Quartering has been instrumental in helping me get this channel where it's at today. Because I watched how he was doing things. And it helped me so much. But crying because I didn't give you a shout out is not going to help you. That is a loser's attitude. And if you want to continue to blame me... For your failures, you will continue to be a failure. And that is the reality of the situation. I can't make people like you. I can't make them watch your videos. I have a sports channel right now that generally gets a few hundred views. If I'm as powerful as you think I am, don't you think I'd be able to get more people to watch my sports channel videos? No. Sports Wars is a completely different animal. The algorithm works completely different. Sports as a whole is completely different on YouTube, and I have not figured it out yet. I will figure it out, but I haven't figured it out yet. Now, what am I doing? Am I asking, oh, please, bigger channels, help me, help my sports channel? No, I'm not. I'm trying to figure it out, and I will figure it out, and it will take some time, and I'm willing to put the work in to get to that point. Again, Blaming me means you're a loser, means you're always going to be a loser, and it means that as long as I am in your head, the things that you need to focus on are not in your head. So you need to decide, do you want to continue to be obsessed with me because I didn't give you my platform like you think you deserve, or are you going to be uh, obsessed with being good, learning, getting better, and being successful? It's that simple. Blaming others will never get you where you want to go. So, I am not mad if you're making videos about me. I'm not mad if you're out there spreading nonsense about me. I'm not mad if you blame me for your failures. What I'm saying is if you truly want to be successful, I am the last thing that needs to be on your mind. The first thing that needs to be on your mind is learning, getting better, and studying others that have been successful. And that is the only way I should be in your mind if you want to be successful, is looking at what I've done. And then look at other creators that are better than me and look at what they've done. And then take some elements from this person, some elements from that person, and put your own element into it. And make a masterpiece. And get bigger than this channel. Get more views than me. Get more views than Jeremy from The Quartering. I don't really care. I'm not here to compete with you. I am here to build what I created, and I think I've done a pretty good job at that, but every single day is a struggle. I wake up every day fighting for the views, fighting for the subs, fighting to keep my channel relevant. So you may think I'm sitting here on this, this high horse right now, but I'm not. And yeah, back in the day, I get it. I get the position I'm in. Back when I had less than a thousand subs, if some douchebag like John Campia would have given me a shout out with his platform, I would have thought it was the greatest thing ever. But it only would have helped me from a confidence building standpoint. It wouldn't have made me a better YouTuber. It wouldn't have gotten me more views. It wouldn't have gotten me more subs. PewDiePie could give me a shout out tomorrow. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to get a shit ton of subs. I'm going to get a lot more views right off the bat. And then you know what's going to happen? 99% of those viewers are going to watch and they're going to go, all this guy does is bitches about identity politics and Star Wars. I don't care. And they're not going to watch me again. Because no matter how powerful PewDiePie is, they have to be interested in me. And they're not going to be interested in me because PewDiePie told them. They'll take a look, but they're not going to like what I say. They're not going to care. They're like, I don't give a shit if Star Wars is, is dead. I want to watch meme review. I want to watch Minecraft videos. They don't care what I'm talking about. So again, stop making excuses Stop being a beta, be a man, put your working boots on, step in some shit, get dirty, and get better. Or continue to cry about me, because all you're doing is helping me. All you're doing is helping build my brand. All you're doing is making people interested in me. Like, why are they obsessed with this guy? What has the guy done to them? Do whatever you think you need to do, and I'll continue to do what I think I need to do. But I'm trying to help. You can either listen or you can continue to play the victim, you can continue to whine, and you can continue to blame everybody else for your own failures. It doesn't matter to me. I want to see other channels succeed. I want to see everybody accomplish their goals. I want to see everybody do what makes them happy. So if you want my help, I will try to help you if the opportunity happens. But if you're just going to get mad because I can't help everybody, I'm not interested in talking to you. 
I'm not interested in working with you. I'm interested in working with alphas. I'm interested in working with people that have initiative. For instance, Jesse Milestone, Anna, that Star Wars girl. Why are they at Geeks and Gamers? Because they proactively reached out to me and they actually talk to me like someone that's interested in building their brand but not looking for Jeremy to be their savior. I have absolutely nothing to do with Jesse and Anna's success. None whatsoever. I'm happy and lucky to be their friend and I'm happy that they bless me with their presence on my channel when they have time. But I, I didn't do anything special. I just, I just thought, wow, okay, both of these girls are really smart. They're really passionate, and they know what they're talking about. I want to be connected to both of them. And luckily, they agreed, and they felt the same way about me. And now we all have a great platform. Why? Not because of me. It's because we all have the same thought process that we want to get better, and we want to learn, and we want to be successful. But you out there crying about me, you're just going to continue to be a loser, and I'm going to continue to be more successful than you as long as you have that attitude. Get better and just... Stop being a bitch. Later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.